to my dear friends in the Chaburas Yesocha Zavulon, and to my dear Talmud and friend Harav Zinken, and I said, my dear friends and Talmudim in our wonderful Chabura. So we finally arrive at our final destination. And 49, Erev Shavuos. It's been a beautiful journey. And I enjoyed every stop. 49 stops, 49 Kinyonim. 49 opportunities to just delve a bit into the profound wisdom of Chachameinu HaGedoshi. So thank you for being with me. Number 49, Whenever we learn Torah and whenever we teach Torah, it is part of human nature. We all, in a fundamental way, like covered, we all deserve covered. And covered in a limited fashion is part of human nature. After all, every Shabbos Mavorchim, we ask a Kodesh Borchu for Chaim Shiesh Bem Oishav a covered. So it is part of our weaknesses that we prefer when we learn something inspiring, something great, to attribute it to our own Chachma and wisdom. But Chazal teach us, You always need to quote the source and never try to take credit for something that is not yours. So in various different sources, we learn about the importance of Omer Dovar Hashem Amroi. And I just want to briefly explain three different levels. Rab Chaim Velazhener in Ruach Chaim says, it is important always to quote the source because there might be an Afkamenela Halacha. There's a tremendous difference whether this Halacha or Musar or interpretation, or whatever it is, who is the Baal Hashmua? Is it a Tana? Is it an Amoira? Is it a Rishon? Is it an Achroin? Makes a great Nafkimen. And sometimes just by knowing who made the statement, it is also Lishitosoi. So maybe a bias said this because a bias says that. And maybe the Rasha maintains this because the Rash Belishitose in another source says differently. And if the halacha is not in accordance to the Rash there, it might also not be relevant here. So the importance of quoting every halacha, every statement, every dvar chokhmah in the name of the one that first was machadish this Yisrael, sometimes could really reflect on halachic ruling. That is level number one. Level number two is, it is just fundamental midas toivos. I wrote a tshuva, which I could make available to all our beautiful Talmidim and the entire Chabura about, is it defined as gezel, when a person quotes divrei Torah from other people as if it is his own? Well, You know about the modern discussion and modern law about intellectual property and many places can deal with this question. We're not dealing exactly with the discussion over intellectual property, but is there something basically intrinsically wrong by why would you take honor and pride in something that isn't yours? That would be in a way similar to Gezel. So let me share with you, every now and then somebody calls me on the phone and he tells me, without a busha, without even being ashamed, sometimes we quote your chedushim, but we don't say it in your name. Are you makbid? And I always say, of course I'm makbid. Why would you think for a moment that I won't be makbid? This is wrong. 
If you heard this Chiddush from me, if you saw it in my Sefer, you should quote it in my name. And not pretend as if you are the one to be Mechadish this Chiddush. Level number three is Mevi Geula Lo'ilam. Afar Pishi Yismameya Im Kol Ze'achak Aloi Bechol Yoim Shiyavoy. Anything we could do to hasten the Geula is so important. And Chazal teach us, this is one of the Zgulas. Hoi medove b'shem amroi, mevi ge'ula le'olam. So whenever we saw a Chiddush or heard a Chiddush, not only is it a prohibition to take credit on your own from this Chiddush, you cannot even say, I heard. You must say, from whom did you hear? In whose safer did you see? And maybe that is why Chazal finished the list of Memches Kinyon Etoira with Hu'ayme Dove B'Shem Amroi. Just for Simon Etoira, Simon Toiv, because maybe Geula L'Oilam. So my dear friends, let me just wish you all a good Yom Tov. Eretz Yisrael is in war, and what's happening is very worrisome and somewhat depressing. We're being attacked mebayis umibachutz, mechutz t'shakel cherev umechadorem eimo. Unlike all the previous wars that were on the borders, beyond the borders of Israel, every city, every town is being bombed. And the casualties are not soldiers in the field, but fathers, mothers, children. Up to the very moment we're speaking, 10 people were killed and many others wounded. And hundreds of millions probably were destroyed, homes, fields, houses, industry. So we're all davening to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and let us hope that we'll have a quiet and peaceful Yom Tov. We should share Beseris Tavis, daven for us, and let us hope that I and you will have the wonderful opportunity to share many more hours of Simchas Otoyla. We should all be Zoycha Lekabal Otoyla and Olmal Chashumayim and all of you have a beautiful Yom Tov. Thank you for this journey.